Josh, my financial advisor doesn't agree with you a way you calculate provisional income. Can you confirm, please? So let's talk about this. Uh, this is from Vince. He writes in, uh, maybe from Pennsylvania. I think it's from Pennsylvania. Hey, Josh, I recently retired and read your tax bond book. Thank you, sir. In it, you have examples on how to figure out provisional income. I've tried to confirm your method on the ins and outs of other websites with no luck. My financial advisor doesn't agree with your calculations and is taking my whole $50,000 of provisional income and multiplying it by 85% to get $42,500, I guess is where he's, I don't get that, to calculate his taxable Social Security, I guess. Uh, with your method, I get 11000 Can you confirm either of these numbers as right or give me the correct answer, please? Much obliged. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so if your provisional income, Vince, is 50000 bucks. I mean, it's simple, actually. I mean, how we figure this out. And I, I, uh, he doesn't say if he's married finally jointly. So I'm not sure. We'll say he's married finally and jointly. But, I mean, this is actually quite easy. So your provisional income, we'll, we'll start with a single person. Then we'll do married finally and jointly. All right, so we have $50,000 is our provisional income, and you're single. We know for a fact the first 25000 of that let me back up, actually, before we get into that. Remember, what is provisional income? What are we trying to determine here? We're trying to determine how much of your Social Security benefit is subject to taxation. So for your financial advisor uh, to take $50,000 and times that by 0.85 to get $42,500, that, that doesn't mean anything because your provisional income isn't your Social Security amount. Your provisional income determines how much of your benefit is taxable. I, I don't get that. So either you're confused about what your provisional income is, uh, which I hope is the case, because if your financial advisor is saying your provisional income is $50,000 and we're times that by 0.85 to get a gauge of how much of your Social Security is subject to tax, that doesn't make sense. So remember, your provisional income is not your Social Security benefit. So let me, I just, actually, let me back up with Vince here, because I, 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 I think Vince... Well, I don't know, because he's certainly not getting $50,000 of Social Security. I would be hard-pressed. I mean, it could happen. I'd, I'd have a hard time thinking that is happening. But, all right, let's just remember, provisional income. All right, so we're going to find out what our provisional income. The first thing we have to understand is the provisional income is the methodology in which you determine how much of your Social Security benefit is subject to taxation. That's all it does. It doesn't determine your AGI. It doesn't determine how much of your what your Social Security benefit is. It just determines how much of your Social Security benefit is subject to tax. So we're just going to say in this case you have thirty thousand of Social Security. You know what we'd want to do? Uh, thirty. We'll say forty thousand of Social Security. Yeah, we'll say forty thousand of Social Security. We'll just say that for example. That's probably too high. Uh, let's do this. We'll say we have. Uh, 30,000 of Social Security, because I'm trying to get to where we get 50,000 for provisional income. <clears throat> All right, 30,000 of Social Security and 35,000 of IRA distributions. And it can be any other income. So 30,000 of Social Security, 35,000 of IRA distributions. And that IRA distribution amount could literally be anything. It could be tax exempt interest. It could be labor. It, I mean, it, it could be stock trading, it, it, dividends, qualified long term capital gains. It doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter what that 35K is. We're just going to say IRA distributions for the time being. All right. So how you figure out your provisional income is you take half of your Social Security benefit and add it to all the other stuff. All right. So now we got 35, which is one half of Social Security. We got a $35,000 IRA distribution, and we add half of our Social Security benefit to that. So that gives us a provisional income of $50,000. That's how you figure out what your provisional income is. It's actually quite simple. All your income plus half your Social Security. That's how you get your provisional income. All right, so now if you're single and you got provisional income of 50000 we know for a fact that the first 25000 that is not subject to anything. No taxation whatsoever. Twenty-five to 34, 50% of that is subject to tax. Anything above 34, 85% of that is subject to tax. So for your financial advisor, just to say 42.5 is, is just stupid. All right, so this, this is how it works. Your provisional income is $50,000. But remember, your income was $65,000, of which $30,000 was Social Security, $35,000 was your IRA. 
But because your provisional income doesn't look at your entirety of Social Security, it's only $50,000. The first $25,000 of your provisional income is not subject to taxation. The next $9,000, 50% of that is subject to taxation. And the next amount above that would be 85%. So we got $4,500 is subject to taxation. Plus we got $16,000 because $50,000 over $34,000 is $16,000. We times that by 0.85. So now we got 13,600 plus 4,500. 18,100 of your social security amount would be subject to taxation. So remember, 50 minus 25 leaves us 25 left. The, first, the next 9,000, nine, uh, the next 9,000 with 25 to 34, that is taxed at 50% a, a of that 9,000 is subject to tax. So in this case, it's 4,500. The next amount above 34,000. 85% of that is subject to taxation. So 54,000 minus 34,000 is 16,000 times by 0 0.85, that's 13,600. Add those two together, 18,100 of your social security benefit now is subject to taxation. 18,100 plus your $35,000 IRA distribution. And you will have in this case, plus $35,000, 53,100 will be your AGI. All right, and, that, and that's it. 53,100 is your AGI because you take your taxable Social Security, which is 18,100, add your other sources of income, which is 35,000, um, and then that will give your AGI. So, I mean, in this case, he's your, your guy is essentially saying 85% of your Social Security is subject to taxation. That, that could not be further from the truth because if you had, what did I say, 30,000 Social Security, and you times that by 0.85, that's 25,500, which is 7,400 more than the reality. So, um, yeah, I'm just, you can look at social security. There's tons of calculators out there to figure out provisional income. Motley Fool had a good one. Um, unfortunately, I think that I didn't like the last, the, everything was good up to the last thing. I forgot, oh, where they said what your taxes will be on that. That was bad because it just used an effective tax rate. That, that wasn't good. But they can figure out your provisional income easily. They'll call it your, um, Combined income is another terminology for this. So I don't know what your financial advisor is thinking. That's, that's just inherently wrong. It doesn't surprise me. I mean, I'm telling you, man, most people don't know this stuff. They just don't. And I didn't know it for the longest time. Uh, until, I'm telling you, there's a life insurance guy that educated me on this, which was, uh, if you think back, uh, which uh, 10 years ago now, yeah, 10 years ago, it wasn't even a life insurance guy. It was a guy who was dealing with a life insurance agent. And my first thing was life insurance. What do they know? Turns out they knew a lot more than I did. And I had a CFP, and I think I had already completed my master's. Yeah, I had already had my master's. I didn't know. They don't teach this stuff in financial planning school. Um, the only reason life insurance guys understand it because they're trying to sell tax-free stuff, life insurance, which works for me. Uh, but they know more than a typical financial advisor because financial advisors are trained on investments. All right, so I hope that helps, Vince. By all means, man, just... <laughs> yeah. If a guy is saying 85% of your Social Security is subject to taxation uh, just out of, the, out of the gate without any knowledge at all, they're just wrong. Now, they, it might he might be right that 85% of your Social Security is subject to taxation, but it has nothing to do with provisional income. If he's saying 50, uh, your provisional income is 50000 to say 85% of that is just it's dumb. It doesn't make sense. It's, that's dumb. It's ignorant. He just doesn't know. So, hey, I hope this helps. Thanks now.